G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel. I've now uh, rigged, rigged up to me portable 70s princess black and white TV, um, my my camcorder and um, to demonstrate my television in working order. It's making quite a nice picture. Um, I've got this camera connected uh, via a um, composite video audio to RF adapter which connects to the back of the TV set to its RF antenna input which I do use in a, a, another adapter because it doesn't have a socket antenna input but um, terminal screws instead which is standard on the earlier TV sets so you just get one of those um, socket to terminal adapters and you plug your RF um, antenna socket in. But anyway, yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I've done. Um, as mentioned, this TV is um, 70s uh, princess walkabout model number um, PBW101. Yeah, these are. I'm not sure how common these sets were back in the day. Um, I believe um, Princess products were sold at Woolworths back in the day. Apparently Woolworths were selling clothing and and um, electrical products, unlike today, which they just sell mainly food and and you know kitchenware and all that. But um, yeah, back in the day they were more diverse with their products. So same with Coles and yeah, um, at those food stores you could buy a TV like this. Anyway, um, yeah, this is, as, as mentioned, this TV is working quite good. Um, yeah, as I'm using, you know, um, RF and all that, the pitch is a little bit noisy, but, yeah, that's usually what happens when you're doing things that way. If I did a direct composite input, I'd get a nice, clear picture. Anyhow, with my camcorder, I'm just filming around the garage. And see on the black and white screen whatever I'm filming. And it's me of course. <laughs> There's some of them you can't see too much. There you can. So yeah. What more can I say? Not a bad um, deal for 10 bucks from White Scully Tip. 70s portable black and white princess TV. Anyway, this is Troy from the Troy's Digital Arts Channel signing out.